everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer with today's tarot. Yes. Okay, as usual, I've got my own pack of tarot cards here. I've got my little lovey dovey ones here. I've got my ruin set. And I've also got the beautiful cards that were designed by Louise Benton. If you do want to go over to her website, the link is below in the description. And there it is on the screen if you do want to pause it. So let's get in today. I've already prepped myself. I've done my singing bowl. I've primed myself up. As you can see, my energy is awesome. I hope it's contagious for every single one of you. Because when we emit this energy out of us, it is contagious to everyone around us. So even though you're not geographically near each other, it is emitted through the energy forces. Okay. Now, before I start today, there is a little thing I want to tell you all. We presently do have a crack in the magnetic field in the stratosphere around, the, I think it's the stratosphere, around the Earth. Don't get too alarmed because cracks are natural. But at the same time, we've also got solar flares. Woohoo! Now, solar flares, they can interrupt with our energy. They can amplify our thoughts. So if happy thoughts become really big ones, someone um, in a lower vibrational, it will bring out their true colors of their vibrational state. So be aware of that with everyone around you at the next week or next two weeks because of the crack in the um, EMF around the world as well as the solar flares, okay? All right, so I've got my four here. I've also got my ruins if I didn't show them earlier. So I've got her on. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Mwah. Okay, so which one's oh different, different today? We're going the ruins first again. Ruins? No. Okay, lovey-dovey cards. Okay, I'll do the lovey-dovey cards. I love these little lovey-dovey cards. I have no idea where I got them, but every word starts with, the, every passage starts with love, okay? So I call them my lovey-dovey cards. So I just shuffle, and as I shuffle and connect, see how I touch them to my skin? So I connect, and I've got my fingers on all the cards. That's how we connect with our cards, guys. I've already done this before I started, and I put out my intention. What is a card that represents what everybody on the planet needs to hear for the next week? Okay, so I've already got that intention in my thoughts. What is a message that everybody on the planet needs for the next week? Now, what is the next week? Today is the 16th of January, 2021. So these cards are representative for the next week, which goes through until the 22nd. Yep, that's right. 20, and I just got my card. Okay, so there it is. I'll just quickly show you that one. And I'll get rid of those. Okay, now she wants me to use my cards. Okay, I'll use my card. So I'm just going to keep shuffling while I talk. Put out the intention again. I connect with my cards. See how I just shuffle through them so my fingers are touching every single card as they go through? That's how we connect with our cards touching every card and then I say to them anything a message for the next week for everybody on the planet okay so we'll just wait until one comes out of here and there it is straight away whoops there it is I just dropped him so first of all I'll get rid of my deck put them over there what is this one okay oh okay seven of swords if you want to go and check out what he means okay before I do the community spread with all four so now they're saying go with the Louise Benton cards. Okay, so I always take off her card first, so we don't want that because that's just her advertising. So these cards, guys, I just say it again. One card, and I connect with all my cards before. One card that represents what the whole world needs to hear for the next week. Okay, one card, please throw me out. Oh, and there we go, we've got her. Okay, so I put them ones down over there, and I've now got this. Look at the artwork that Louise draws. Isn't this just gorgeous? She designs these, by the way. So if you do want a pack of these cards, oh, interesting card, that one. It's going to be fun. Okay, now with my ruins, I'm holding them all in my hand so I connect through the bag. And again, I just put out the intention. 
one stone that represents what the whole world needs to hear for the next week a message from the universe okay so with my eyes shut and i'll just look away i put my hand into the bag and i take them all into my hand all right one cut one stone for the next week is all oh god the energy i can feel it i can feel it that's the one in there yep okay i got him i got him is is that one Alrighty, so we've got our ooh. I'm not sure yet whether it goes that way or whether it goes that way, but I'm going to look it up. Okay, so get rid of my stone. So in order, I went the little lovey dovey cards first, didn't I? So I'm just putting these in order. So I've got lovey dovey, I've got um, the seven of swords, and I've got this one, and then my stone. So I'll go check out what it is first. So I've got this one. So, um, oh, that's him. Let me just check all of them to make sure there's none that look the same because there's a few that look like P's and R's and S's. So, okay, I've got him now, so I know what he is. So I'll just leave him open. Okay, isn't it funny how I'm calling it a him? I'm getting all this masculine feeling. Okay, so the first one I drew out was this one. Message for the next week for everybody on the planet you ready love would take care of a friend in need love would take care of a friend in need so how kind how generous how appreciative are you at this point with all those around you now when we look at friends in need it could be someone um, being stuck you know we all go to help that person who falls into a river okay we're stuck they're in water um, or stuck in mud that type of stuff it could be someone who's sick it could be someone struggling with um, paying their bills because they've lost their job or whatever I don't know um, it's only a s surmising here because there are eight million eight billion of us on the planet but love would take care of a friend in need what does that mean to you straight away? So let's just keep going now with the other cards that I've got. Um, the Seven of Swords, I'll show him to you. So I love these decks that I've got. Seven of Swords. Let me go in and we'll have a look at the Seven of Swords. Cups, ones, no, back this way in my book. Oh, here we go. Seven of Swords. Okay, so I've got the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can represent situations not going as you had anticipated or bad luck affecting matters. See the connection now? Love would care for a friend in need. So, sometimes theft may be indicated, so you need to be mindful of this and take the necessary precautions. Now, theft does not mean someone's coming into your house and stealing something. Theft could be theft of your happiness. Um, theft could be the loss or that release of things that we don't want anymore that we really did want to hang on to. It could also be things like appliances breaking down. Hello, we are going through, what did I say at the beginning? This crack in the EMF around the planet. So with the solar flares coming in, electrical devices are going to play up. So your TV, your fridge, your microwave, your computer or something may go on the frizz and you may have to replace it. So you may lose things, okay? If your fridge dies, then you've got to throw away food that goes off, right? So you have that loss, that theft. So it doesn't mean someone's coming into our houses, guys, okay? So sometimes, oh yeah, I've read that. It can often show a situation where something is taken in greed. Do we need to be greedy? okay now um okay just sorry i'm just looking out the window to see what's going on without any apparent feelings of guilt now there's a lot of people these days that aren't feeling guilty about their actions such as un, um usually the theft the nature of theft there is an element of unfairness surrounding this card geez look at all the unfairness going on on the planet okay but forewarned is forearmed so I live by this simple philosophy, guys. Um, it was a line in a movie once that I saw, like a general or someone in this movie. And his line was, 
Always hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. So being forewarned is forearmed, okay? So be prepared for the worst, but hope for the best. Remember, our thoughts create our reality. So the more we hope for the situation or the outcome that we want, the more that will come in, okay? This card also represents the use of diplomacy against levy heavy-handed methods to achieve a desired result. Now look at all the mandates. Wow, all these non-rules that are going on at the moment because mandates aren't law, right? Um, you know, how many bullying techniques are people using in authority at this point? So be aware of what's going on around you. And at the end of the day, look out for your mates, your friends, your family. Love would take care of a friend in need. So this is saying to us, don't judge. Just allow people to have their free will and their own free choice. It's all right to have opinions, but keep those to ourselves a lot. Now, that's just my neighbor who's just getting on his motorbike across the road. He'll be gone in a minute. Okay, so now that I've got those two, let's go to the next one. Communion card. How ironic when we're talking about looking after others okay communion I'll just show you the artwork while my neighbor just drives away on his bike beautiful representation divine miracle of spirit and form through the sacred portal of woman we are born into the manifest world we fall as we hear the sound of Gaia's call so straight away there, we're born into this three-dimensional world. And those that are starting now to wake up will have that calling, okay? As we hear the sound of Gaia's call, okay? So there are a lot of people now waking up. You know, I'm inundated every day now with emails from people saying, oh my God, I've just seen my first ghost. Should I be scared? Okay? Because they've never had this ability before. Um, we're also going through this photon belt for the next couple of years. That could also be why this veil is now thinning. So there's no left or right anymore. We, that barrier has now been removed. So our three-dimensional world is passing into these other dimensional realms and likewise with them into ours. So it is now easier for them to be seen, heard, witnessed and experienced. Okay. This sensuous world, a truly magical place, rests in her presence and feel her embrace. Life unfolding in every moment, changing, expanding, transforming, evolving. Wow. So when we do start seeing ghosts for the first time, we do have a choice. Do you want it? Or do you want say, don't, 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 come? I don't want that anymore. So we do have free will in this. But for those who are taking on that embrace and resting in her presence, we are starting to change, expand our consciousness. So we're therefore transforming ourselves as who we are as individuals and we are evolving into the true magic of our innate abilities. Mystic realms we have yet to explore. See how we're now going into that fifth ninth thirteenth twenty eighth dimension okay mystic realms we have not we have yet to explore beauty beyond what we have known before because everything is new we don't know how to experience we don't know how to feel in this we might be scared apprehended in this new environment as we open our hearts the more life can flow in so always use your heart chakra and allow and just breathe and try and stay calm with all this changes that's coming. And a deeper connection to earth will begin. Go and do some grounding, okay? In my um, paranormal group, which is on Facebook, Dr. Linda Kramer Paranormal, I've got free videos in there. And one of those are on how to do grounding, where you stand on the grass, okay? So if you do want to watch that, join my group. It's on Facebook. Go into the topics and I've got one there called grounding. So you can learn how to do this, okay? 
Surrender your heart to the heart of the mother. Now, this is allowing us to trust in what somebody else is going to do. So we've got to allow the universe here and we've got to trust them that they are working for us. We can't use our ego and say, why haven't you done that? Why aren't you coming here to save me? Don't do that. Instead, give grace and thanks and say, you know what? I trust you. You are this eternal, energetic, universal frequency. I allow you to do what you are going to do in the whole existence of the universe. So I know whichever part I'm on in that life existence, I'm going to be looked after. A planetary being with soul like no other. There's 8 billion of us now. We all are all different. We journey together and she embraces our union. Now I love it when I say, here I am and here's this lady who helps me. But we're not separated. We are a union. And when I put my fingers overlapping each other like this and I formed it to become one hand... It's that unity. It's that strength. And most of all, it's that power that I, through me, mingling or joining with her energy, I'm creating more of her energy and she is therefore creating more of mine. Okay? So, we journey together and she embraces our union of spirit and and form in this holy communion because it's the communion card okay so what she's saying she the universe the message for today okay i forgot to mention this a little bit i am an integration of spirit integration means joining and form and i embrace the sensuous beauty of this world so as I talk, I'll just put this up there. So if any of you do want to go and read this card, you can just pause the screen. So today we've got the little love card that says love would take care of a friend in need. That's that unity, being that strength when we form together with others. Okay, we've also got the seven of swords saying that we're going to lose something there's that theft that's coming because when we do change we must let things go correct so now let's look at this little guy now i know how to hold him he's this way and here he is so you can see the stone as well as him let's read what this little guy says this is wild ox ruin it is huge strong wild ox the symbol of strength courage forcefulness and resilience also indicative of energy and natural vitality doesn't this ring true with everything else i've just said so the three points a strong forceful ruin used inner strength and courage to overcome current obstacles so we go within to our heart chakra and we realize that it is only our ego that is trying to control what is occurring we've got to put more onus and trust into what these energetic beings are doing in behind the scenes that we can't see we've got to learn to trust them embrace an impending change Wow. Take the risk. You have the strength to deal with the outcome. Oh my God. Be assertive. A breakthrough will appear. Wow. Now we were talking about the, the theft. We're losing something. So when you're about to lose something, you sit there and you analyze it and you say, is this really important to me? Is this something I can really live without? Is this something that I will die if I don't have it? <clears throat> Sit there and think, what can I do? So it's not just me singularly now. I've got to connect with other people. For ultimately, love would 
take care of a friend in need. Reach out to your tribe, your friends. Communicate with them. Show them that rawness of who you are. Allow them to reach out with their own energy and surround you and become this huge, strong, powerful force creating that unity. Now, it does look like a little you, doesn't it? Okay. Uras. Urus. It's actually pronounced as. Okay. Embrace an impending change. Take the risk. So there are changes coming, guys. Okay. There are changes coming. But it's how we deal with them. Do we go negative and become a victim? Where we have to tell everyone, oh, look what's all this drama is happening to me. Or do we sit there in our own authority of trusting them and say, you know what, bring it on. Let's see what's going to happen this time. I'm on this roller coaster. I'm going to buckle up and hide, hold on for the ride. Okay, please be that person. And just allow things to unfold. But know that you're not alone because we are communion together. Everyone is together in this. Okay. And I will just put up this little screen. It's this little guy just here. If you do want to read it, I'll just put him there if you want to read it. I always read it face up because it's this message that they want me to have. Because of the way that I pull the, the stone out, I don't throw them on the table where they could go face down. So I'll just put him up again. It's this one just here. So if you do want to read that one. Okay. Um, I'll just pause it. There you go. Okay. So, buckle up is on the cards, guys. There are a lot of people are going to be releasing, letting go of things in the next week. Please know that everything is happening for a reason because everything does happen for a reason, okay? All right, so if you've liked today's tarot, please share it with your friends, okay? Let them know to come and watch my weekly tarot. If you've liked it, please press the like button and subscribe if you're the first time watching it. Um, I do this every Sunday. So these cards are from Sunday the 16th of January until um, 22nd of January next Saturday. Um, and guys, I hope that you um, like these cards. If they do ring true to you, please comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, go and research what does this card mean, the Seven of Swords. Put that into Google. What does the Seven of Swords mean? Then incorporate it with the communion card from Louise Benton. Incorporate it with what does this mean? Love would take care of a friend in need. Okay? Till next week, guys. I hope you've liked it. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.